اوكي احمد Hello, we have a victim here in street with Rova 49. He has no priest, no pulse, and he is unconscious. We need help. Never try this on a healthy person. This procedure is extremely dangerous and painful. This is an unreal scenery, so we will use a model for illustration. Clean the mouth of loose matter, such as food or broken teeth. Check for breathing. Look for movement of the chest. Listen for the sounds of breathing and feel for air escaping from the person's mouth and nose. If the person is not responding or not breathing, make sure they are lying flat on their back on a firm surface and start CPR. Place the heel of your stronger hand on the lower half of sternum body. Place your other hand on top of your stronger one and interlock fingers. Press down firmly and smoothly in compression to one third of the depth of the chest, for example, five to six centimeters. Give 30 compressions at a rate of about two compressions each second. Relax and make sure that the compression is equal. Give two rescue breaths taking about one second to complete each breath. Blow until their chest rises. Repeat the cycle of 30 chest compressions and two rescue breaths. Make sure that their hands is tilted back and their chin is lifted. When giving someone a rescue breath, cover their open mouth with your mouth and pinch their nose with your finger and thumb. If a second person is present, they should help you to give the person CPR and attaching a defibrillator if there is one available. The person doing the CPR should be switched every two minutes to avoid burnout. Before using it, you must know how to operate the AED. Turn on the AED and follow the visual and audio prompts. Attach the AED pads and plug in the connector if necessary. Make sure no one is touching the person. Tell everyone to stand clear. Push the analyze button and allow the AED to analyze the person's heart rhythm. If the AED recommends that you deliver a shock to the person, make sure that no one including you is touching the person and tell everyone to stand clear. Once clear, press the shock. Continue CPR after delivering the shock. Or, if no shock is advised, continue to follow the AED's prompts. If you notice that uh, there is obvious signs of life, discontinue CPR and monitor breathing for any changes in condition. Attach an AED if one is available and follow its voice prompts. Keep doing CPR while the AED is being attached. Thank you.